Hey guys, Megan with another YouTube video. This video we're going to be taking a look at the Republic Liberator class gunship, a little bit different from the Enmity class gunship that we took a, lot, a look at last video. Uh, so the Enmity class gunship, to remind you guys, is a mid-size gunship. This is based off of the ATOT Republic dropship that LEGO has produced, except I changed it so that it was more of a gunship uh, version. And then I got the idea to kind of make it just a little bit bigger. And when I made it a little bit bigger, it was by adding three of these uh, panels that you see here, um, because I built this section uh, differently. So this one is longer than the Amity class gunship. This is the Liberty Liberator class gunship. And the really interesting thing about this one is that it's a completely redesigned fuselage up here. If you remember in my Amity video, you saw that the internals for the dropship part, the ATOT part that clicked into one another, were still inside of the gunship. Well, I took those out and I redesigned this entire upper fuselage because that was wasted space and I was able to open it up for some really interesting things that we'll get into later. I also experimented with a new door design, kind of uh, making it look a little bit better. And then we did a little bit more, some interesting things with it. And I wanted to point out something really quick about LDD de Pauvre. So the weird thing about LDD de Pauvre is that these glass pieces that you're seeing here are actually the translucent glass pieces, but they're the really dark tinted uh, gray. And I, I don't know why, but Pauvre makes them seem like they're really gray. Like... These are translucent, but they make it seem kind of like this color here. I don't know why, but it does. So you'll see later on in most of my other gunship videos, I'll do the white uh, tinted glass, like the very, very clear stuff instead of this gray stuff because you can't see through the gray stuff. Uh, so this is the normal liber liberated gunship because there's actually two different versions of the liberated gunship. So this one is the support class liberated gunship. Uh, so the difference between them is that the support class liberator is designed with low light radar needed uh, simulations basically. So this is a radar dish, this is a radar dish. It's got the two lights here, two more lights there, lights in the wings there and there. And then it's got another radar dish on the bottom here on both sides of the wings and then one in the back as well. So this is kind of like the AWACS of uh, gunships, basically. So uh, if you don't know what an AWACS is, it's this airplane that kind of flies around the combat zone that other airplanes are in. And it just spots targets for people using really beefy radar. So that's kind of what this one is. Another thing that changes the cockpit design. This uses the uh, updated cockpit design that I like to use now uh, with the kind of like the half arch dome pieces that you see here. Really, really nice design. And then everything else, for the most part, aside from the engine detail, I just deleted all the uh, the engine detail that you guys saw uh, and left this kind of plane up here. It is pretty much the same as the normal Liberator, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the normal Liberator. I don't want to go through the LDD panel because I have a mock in there that you guys don't need to see. <laughs> My voice is getting sore. Hopefully a sip of Mountain Dew helps. Load. 1,579 bricks. I love a large class um, Liberator gunship. I need to go through and do some more of the coloring and add some grays in. I got the grays up here in the engine, but I don't have it like anywhere down here aside from the ball turret. So... I need to go back and do that, but here it is. This is the uh, the normal attack version, the one that actually get down to the ground. So in the front we have the ball turrets, pretty basic. We have once more this weird thing on the inside here, more basicness. I changed up uh, these parts here and here so that it opened it up six studs and then put down the flooring which you see there. So you can put troops or whatever you want on the inside there. Cockpit design. This is the older design where I use these pieces. 
as you know, I switched over to using the uh, the canopy pieces, like the half curved ones that you saw in the support version of this model. All of these are in the hinges so that they open. Back here, if we take and we open up, not that. Oh, can I not open this one? You can see the uh, this piece here is a. Uh, a flat piece to make that other piece really easy to get off. And when you open this piece up, you have storage in here for the guns that the pilots could use. Because uh, I don't like to waste space. So if you had extra guns come with uh, the model for your pilots, you could put them in the inside there. Up here on top, we have two extra uh, cockpits. These are for your radar operators, obviously. Um, pilot, co-pilot, and then either like a gunner for your uh, weapon system or like an engineer or something like that would sit in this one and then your two radar operators that are monitoring all directions and whatnot would sit back here this back one has the easier job because it only has one radar dish to really or um i'm sorry i was thinking of the support model uh this is just like a basic uh, radar unit but if this was the support model uh this person back here would only be operating this one and then these two on the wings and down here and then this person would be operating the front ones which is arguably the more important section the fuselage up here has been hollowed out and replaced with these doors if we hide all the doors you can see that on the inside here we have some pretty interesting things on this side in particular we have a storage crate that's on the track pieces that you can slide out we have another storage crate here for grenades or small guns like that. And then we have jetpacks here uh, that are ready for the troops to use if needed. If we open up the cockpit piece to look on the inside, you can see down here on the inside, there's nothing really there. And then we have the hyperdrive and shield generator type thing. And then, of course, the jetpacks and the boxes that we're just taking a look at that you can access by opening up these doors. Underneath the wings, we have, of course, the uh, standard missiles that I've been using all this time. We have five of them on each side for a total of ten. And then we have two cannons and then a chain gun on both wings as well. Just to kind of fight off other enemy aircraft. Then, of course, the back cannon in the back here, the defense cannon in the back. Changes that I made to the engines. Uh, this is the basically the normal size of the engine right here. Uh, this engine up here, I took and I threw on this extra back piece just to make it a little bit longer, break up the profile just a little bit more. Added these pipes coming out of it, and then added all of this up here. I gave it the long-range communication antennas. Did a little bit of design with the, the coloring and everything going on up here, like the dark red, the dark blue, things like that. And then here we have our back door, which does open, revealing a wall. And basically what you could probably put in here is, uh, I'd say a prisoner is probably your best bet because it's not like you could fit much back here. Uh, maybe like a standing up gun rack, but you have a box up here in these compartments to do that with. Um, if you wanted to do the bombs that I've been doing on all the other models, you could probably do that as well, but that's pretty much that. And then, of course, we have the... I'd say the main focal point of the mock is these doors right down here. These are exceptionally, exceptionally cool doors. I love the way I designed these. These look fantastic and the really cool thing about them is that they are actually supposed to have windows in the top of them and right there as well Sorry, I was taking a look at uh, some of the design that I had going on. So, 
the first door runs from here all the way to I want to say here-ish maybe I honestly can't remember and it swivels out this way like a normal gunship door and then I believe that this is all one door and this is all one door I really can't remember the really cool thing is basically just that there's uh, lights on the top of the doors here. And if you really wanted to, you can make these pieces translucent as well so that you can see into the gunship model itself. Uh, but that tends not to work out too well because of uh, all the circles on the bottom where the studs go into. Uh, so these are runners that troops can stand on and then they hold on to these bars if they're going into combat, kind of like a SWAT team on a van. Uh, this doesn't have the upgraded bottom with the storage containers. It has basically just the normal bottom uh, that ships with the, uh, the normal LEGO models. I really like the, the windows up here because they let light into the troop bay and it just looks really cool. If we go ahead and delete the doors, we can take a look at how many troops we can fit in this damn thing. Well, that's all one huge ass door. My bad. And this is all one door. So it should be over 40 troops that fit in this one. Should be is the key word. Um, and then it should be less than 100 though. Because if it goes over 100 then it's technically bigger than... Um, than the... Uh, what should we call it? JCG. It really can't be any bigger than the JCG. JCG is, again, the largest model that I have. Again, for some reason, it won't let me do that. But just imagine that these legs here were turned around. And we'll go ahead and copy-paste these down the line to see how many troops we could fit here. Same exact test that I did with the JCG and uh, the Amity class. Did not do this with the Skyhawk class. They really didn't need to. You could see it for yourself when we fit in there. So 70 true troops can fit in here. So your Amity class could fit 40. Your Liberator class, which is a step up from the Amity class, can fit 72. And then the Lib or the uh, JCG, the Jedi Command gunship, or your Paladin class gunship can fit over a hundred troops on the inside. So that's pretty awesome. I like the uh, the designs that we have going on with that. We're going to go ahead and undo all of this and put it all back together. And that is the Republic Liberator gunship model. Uh, I might come back in and redo some of the designs because this is arguably one of my favorite ones other than the newest one I would have built. The newest one, as a hit, since you guys are loyal fans, is all black because it's a spec ops gunship and it's one of my favorite gunships i've ever built this thing looks so good you just when you guys see it you'll understand and you'll absolutely love and adore what i did with that model but until then this has been the republic liberator gunship so thank you guys so much for watching remember to comment rate and subscribe for more videos similar to this one if you guys want to see more gunship mods like this and other ones in the future, maybe when LEGO releases their new ATOT dropship model, which is, well, they released the attack or episode 2 gunship first, then they released set 7676, which is the episode 3 gunship, then they released the ATOT dropship. And then their most newest one, I believe the one that they're still selling, is the attack or, uh, yeah, the Attack of the Clones gunship remake. So I think 7676 is going to get a remake. And then after 7676 gets a remake, I think they're going to move into doing an ATOT dropship remake. And I can't wait to getting around to modifying some of those new models. So take a look out for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment rate and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. I'll give you guys one final look at the Republic Liberated class gunship. And it's LDD to Poivre form. As you can see, this thing is an absolute beast. Look at this. Look at it. Zoomed all the way in. Uh, give you guys just a little bit better look at all the shadows and everything that comes reflecting off of it. 
Love the way this gunship played out. Looks really, really good. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.